Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use Dynamo to create a pattern with different size uh, void. Okay, so and uh, let's let's do it. So uh, we are going to play uh, create a face based panel. So of course you can you can uh, create a different type of family. So you can even place the family directly into a project. But let's um, just uh, create a face based family. Okay. So so first let's create a new face based generic model. So this this face based generic model will become a void. Okay, so void, so void extrusion circle and just draw it here. DI dimension diameter. So then create uh, let's create a D uh, maybe instance <laughs> because uh, because we will have different size so must be instance and that's it let's go to 3d view the void we need to cut the base so I'll drag this down cut and maybe oh hang on, let me just reduce this a little bit so because the panel we are going to create is not that uh, thick so I think that's enough so the next step is we need to create a new so uh, I'm going to create a new general model face based okay so and okay so this is a base just ignore it <laughs> uh, I'm going to just create a panel so um, it, I'm not going to do it parametric and just because I only want to show you how to do the dynamo, dynamo part so roughly that's a panel okay so finish it let's go to 3d view have a look so this is base this is a panel so select this panel so i want to make it um maybe 100 off the base and 20 mil thick so okay so just typing 100 and typing 120 so this will give us a 20 mil thick panel of um 100 mil off the base okay so floating and then we need to let's go to floor plan of this um, this uh, face space family so we can now place that void onto the panel so uh, this is the base let me just h h hard it so go back to that void so first I want to actually change the size to make it a relatively small smaller 300 load this back into a face based click on this place on face and then you can just place it on this panel so I'm going to randomly roughly oops try to be careful don't uh, place that uh, don't don't overlap them too much okay so don't just do it to like don't do this because you have some issue so roughly you can overlap a little bit it's all up to you so um so and then just uh, let's just quickly play some and also you can use copy and paste okay so let me just select these copy to here uh, move down a little bit left a little bit okay so and then copy some more to here maybe here oh delete some and then copy this down to here and uh, up a little bit down a little bit okay left okay maybe some more here and I'll just delete this delete and that's it so this is a panel Add another one here. Like, oh, where is it? <laughs> Maybe copy. Okay, so this is the panel, and then we are going to use uh, Dynamo to random randomize the size. Okay, so let's go to manage and create a uh, open the Dynamo. So the first part will be very simple. We just need to so first to check uh, change this to manual. Okay, so uh, first family types. B 
because this is a phase a generic model and we can find it here and then the next is the it's under here or element of family types so this will give us a list of all the elements here all the uh, void so we have 250 and then right click set parameter by name okay. link this to, to element the name is d so double click and just type in so this is the parameter name and then value so value we are going to change the so currently they are 300 so i'm going to 50 to maybe 500 every we need uh, 250 um let's try two so see what, how many do we have two not enough 1.5 that should be enough okay 300 yeah and then we need to shuffle it okay so I noticed that the, in a new version uh, Dynamo, we have a new shuffle with seeds. And I think that's that's very nice to have that one, but I, I don't have that here. So anyway, so that's that's all good. And if I click on run, so you will see all the, I will change the size of all these void. So this is fine because some, some of the family, when we change the size, it just get, get I just go uh, went outside of this panel so I just delete them so all good so so you will see um, some here they are all good they're not overlapping but these these the size of these are too big and they are overlapping so what I'm going to do it now is I want to keep these so where they are not overlapping I want to keep size of them so for example these and where they're overlapping i wanted to randomize the size again until all of these void are not overlapping okay so the note i'm going to use is uh so i get uh you can get it f from here so search for a package and i already installed this package so it's this one and under this one so it's um, so we need to two nodes. Okay, so the first one's a uh, Revit element um, here intersects element. So this, and then we need another one is result because this is a result, and we want to show the result. So under this, oh where where am I? Sorry, oh here result. And under here, so there is element intersect um, result. Okay, so this one. And under this, we need to have this one, the second one. So let's link this and also link this. We need to link this to the list. So I'm just going to uh, here. Okay, so and because I want to keep the size of the, these, so we need to un we need to break this okay so now we have a list oh, if i click on run you will see so this is a new list so with all the um the void uh, intersecting uh, family and also if it's not intersecting with any others so you will see this empty list so what we need to do to this list is we need to flatten it flatten and then we will have a list of only families and this is um and, and you will see some i think this number is um because uh, they, they are count twice i believe so that's why we have more than the this but don't don't worry so okay just um don't you don't need to do, to do anything we can just copy another so maybe i'll just use this one Control c and Control v and break this and link this to this and for this one i just want to increase the so uh, increase the number of this list to match or to be to cover this so maybe i'll just turn in 0 0.5 or 0. Oh, maybe one should be enough 
and link this back to here and click around and you should um, say that this this sum of uh, the family stay the same um, that's fine delete click on run again these should stay the same see they are still the same only these these ones change okay so click on run again hmm. click on run again so every time you click on run so you only change the, those um, overlapping okay so click on run 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 and and eventually you will get a pattern I think it's very close now yeah almost there I think that's all yeah no more so you will see this list become empty which means there's no overlapping families and then let me just uh, so now this is uh, this is it okay so this is the result so with all different size and no overlapping and of course you can always adjust it yourself so um, manually but um, yeah that's it um, and so we can so this is a panel face based panel so we can we can uh, let's create a new project so I'm going to just change this to now to create an empty project and then load this panel into the empty project so we can create a wall and then play sound to it okay so WA wall go to 3d view and go to component so that's oh that's the panel we did we just did All right that's it um, what do you think? If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.